Hmm. Shunted versus unshunted tombstones. Let's get into that. Now, when I say tombstones, I'm not talking about that marvelous granite slab sitting on top of dear old grandma and grandpa's burial site. I'm talking about the lamp holders or sockets that you as an electrician typically come across that are installed in a T8, T5, T12 linear fluorescent fixture. So let's talk about the shunted and the non-shunted tombstones. Knowing the difference is especially important right now because of the big LED push. You can get linear LEDs that will run with a ballast or without a ballast or a ballast bypass. If you choose the T8 LED tubes with an internal driver, meaning they don't need a ballast, you must be especially aware of this. The contacts in shunted sockets connect directly at the socket. So power moves from one contact to the other. It's important to note that the shunt may be internal to the socket and invisible to your eyes. So to confirm which tombstone is in the existing fixture, you better get your meter out and set it on continuity. If the two socket contacts show positive continuity, then power flows between the contacts and it is shunted. These tombstones need to be replaced with the non-shunted type for the LED retrofit to operate properly if it is the ballast bypass type. If there is no continuity, then the tombstones are already non-shunted and they can be used with the LED tubes that are a ballast bypass. So why is this important? For the LED tubes with the internal drivers, the retrofit involves removing the existing ballast and rewiring the fixture so the 120 volts or 277 connects directly to the tombstones. If the tombstone is shunted, a dead short will blacken the socket and cause damage to the LED tube. So make sure you know which types of tombstones you're dealing with and what type of LED lamp that you're dealing with as well. So thanks again for watching Stuff Electricians Should Know. If you've got anything interesting that you think other electricians should know, send me some pictures, send me some videos. Let's have some fun spreading this to everybody that we know. Thanks again for watching and until next time, stay grounded.